Hi, my name is Christopher Kong. I'm 32 years old and I'm the chef owner of Dearborn Supper Club in Singapore. So Dearborn is an intimate setting private dining supper club that we host out of our home two days a week, Fridays and Saturday. Uh, we focus on modern American cuisine. So for the sourdough that we'll be making the first dish, we'll be kneading all the dough and then resting it for about 12 hours and then we'll score it and bake it in the oven and then that will be an amazing sourdough that's locally born and raised in Singapore. Then we'll also make some butter with French cream. So 35% fat, it needs to be above that. And we'll be whipping that and splitting the butter and making butter and buttermilk. And then we'll clean the butter uh, and then you'll have fresh butter. The second dish we'll be doing is angelotti pasta which is a handmade pea pasta, and we kind of prepare it in a way that I grew up kind of eating the food and the tastes that are familiar. That's stuffed with peas, uh, pecorino, sunflower, chives, and tarragon. We use a lot of local suppliers and also farmers that are kind of just like people that we know that are like farmers who grow stuff for the garden for us. Like we have a local farmer that's an auntie and an uncle that kind of deliver uh, every week to us so we get our local foliage. And we'll just glaze it with a little broad bean leaves and a little butter as well. For the eggplant, it's charcoal grilled eggplant, uh, so Indian brinjal small eggplant. We're gonna glaze it and then we'll finish it with a sesame sauce on the side and then it'll be a tomato, pepper relish, and then puff quinoa on top of that. And the dessert will be a whole pineapple that we've poached. It'll be half of the, the ring that we'll be serving, and it'll be filled with an olive oil mousse, a little bit of uh, pineapple yuzu granite, just to finish with lemon oil and yogurt sablet as well. With that, we only focus on greens, grains, and sustainable seafood. Our, our model is to be a, a planet-first business. After working in a lot of fine dining restaurants, I realized there was a lot of wastage and we wanted to reduce the waste and try to reduce our carbon footprint as much as we could. So this is why we kind of have these three fundamentals that we value. We have some uh, local herbs growing. We try to grow as much as we can, but obviously certain things grow better than others. Um, rosemary, some tarragon, um, some pentas flowers as well. Usually smaller things, nothing too, too big, um, just because we are in a house and we don't get direct sunlight all the time. There was a lot more to the culinary world than just cooking. Um, there was a whole side of hospitality, uh, management, and all this that was very intriguing to me. For what I want people to gain is when people come here, I want them to, to feel welcome, feel warm, feel invited. It's supposed to be our home, you know, it's, it's a relaxed environment. It's a place to kind of just forget where you are and just have a good time with friends and family and enjoy a good meal. I think that's very important, especially when you're eating together or when we're so busy now, nowadays. I think it's nice to just have a good conversation together. You're gonna have this feeling you're gonna be friends and family and you're gonna have a good time. So this is the same kind of feeling that we wanna evoke as well when people come to Dearborn. So this feeling of being with friends and family and, and sharing this good experience.